Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, August 20th, 2018 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is Aham Prima or I passionately embrace divine love. I apologize for not being around the last few days. I have not been feeling good. And it's interesting. I, you know, it's one of those things. Are you sick or is it like the cosmic energies? It's funny because a friend who I talk to regularly somebody you guys should all know, Michelini, um, she and I have like the same symptoms and she lives in Florida and I'm here in California and so she keeps reading that this is ascension stuff. So if you are feeling sick in your stomach or headaches, dizzy, that kind of thing, <laughs> chances are <laughs> you have what we have, whether it is some form of bug or if it is ascension energy. That being said, um, I think there's some things to look at in regards to this. One of the things, we are finishing up Sun in Leo. We're in the last few days. The Sun is actually going to shift into Virgo late on, what is it, Wednesday. It is late, yeah? Yeah, like 9 p.m. So late Wednesday, early Thursday, depending on where you live. Um, until that time, I really do feel like this is a good time to take it easy on yourself to allow yourself to coast. It's funny because my card from Journey of Love really does talk about that. Once the sun moves into Virgo, we are going to be building into a grand trine in Earth. And I think that grand trine in Earth is going to help us get our butts back in gear and really get back into some form of schedule. For right now, it's like literally for some, the last few days of summer vacation. So this really is the time to, as much as you can, allow yourself to coast, allow yourself to take it easy, allow yourself to really be the inner child and be taken care of at the same time by your inner parent. What do you need at this time? Embrace the energy of love. Now, I also want to get into that energy because Mercury has gone direct. While I was not feeling well, Mercury went direct late on Saturday evening. Hooray! Now, one of the messages, and this is one of the reasons why I came, that I kept hearing because I was like, I'm not doing videos. I need to do the videos. I don't feel like doing the videos. I don't feel good. <laughs> in, in, in amidst all of that was um, <laughs> the message of the ego. You know, that's one of the, the energies of Leo that I don't focus on as much because I really like to focus on the high vibration, but that is an energy of Leo. And let me be fair, you may want to pin that on the Leos that you know or people with strong Leo energies, but Leo is somewhere in your chart. That's the beauty of the chart. We all have these 12 archetypes, these 12 archetypal energies somewhere in our chart. Some of them are more focused with planetary energies and their placement and some are less focused. We all have that opportunity to rise in and through the innocence of the inner child and leave behind the ego that we may have picked up through this time of living. With Mercury direct, it is so important that we keep hold of that energy of divine love and keep moving with that rather than that energy of the ego. And I just feel like with these like these last couple days of Leo and all this stuff that's going on, the ego stuff may be something that's up and knocking. Um, there's another great person that I love to talk to online, Bob, Bob Thompson, and he always says, <sighs> Breathe out. Let that ego out. And so if you find yourself feeling some of that ego energy, if you feel like being Ruka Salt and stomping your foot, you may have left behind a little bit of that love energy and moved a little bit into that ego. And that's okay, but that's a chance to redirect yourself. This is now the third pass that Mercury is making over these degrees of energy in Leo. We really are meant to get this lesson of love. So take it easy on yourself love on yourself, and keep moving forward with that energy. Uh, last few things to mention. Moon in Sagittarius. Gosh, I usually love the moon in Sagittarius, but I swear it is knocking me out <laughs> right now and in through this energy. But again, nice little connection coming. The sun and the moon today are connecting. Sun in Sagittarius, moon in Sagittarius. This is a trine energy. This is like best friends running down the street, arms linked. This is very happy. This is full of inspiration. This is full of uh, creative energy. So again, you may find yourself coming online or at least coming online to like paint or do something creative or connect with a friend. So allow yourself to at least be ignited by that fire creation energy which will helpfully move you gracefully into this week. The moon will then shift into Capricorn. 
uh, Capricorn moon, Capricorn moon may bring on the shoulds. But again, like I said, I feel like that time is coming. When the sun moves into Virgo, we are going to be having this grand trine in Earth. We're going to have Saturn and Capricorn connecting to Uranus and Taurus and then the sun in Virgo. That is going to be a very strong energy. It's also pushing us into the last few days of Mars retrograde. Mars will be going direct. That's going to be another like push in that energetic direction. So for now, if you're feeling a little bit like I am, at least allow yourself to take it easy. And if you are feeling like I am, let me know. <laughs> All right. So right now... It is not the time to be in the place of stress. And if you are feeling stressed, I always love Deepak Chopra what he says. Feeling stressed means your basic needs are not being met. How do you need to show up for yourself? How do you need to love on yourself? This is the courage card. This is the card of moving forward with love. Spirit says you're ready. <laughs> you're ready to do this. And this really goes along with the other card that I have from Journey of Love that basically says, like, things are happening. Things are happening. Sometimes we don't have to play such a part in it. But with the shoulds, we can get a little bit confused. Find a new vision. Get out of the shoulds. Make sure your basic needs are taken care of. And just take it easy on yourself. All right, let's read this and finish this up so hopefully it won't take a million years to upload. Riding the cosmic wave. 100%. You can be carried further by the cosmic wave than by your own efforts. Where you are going cannot be attained by effort. The effort, the discipline, prepares us for the leap. But after the leap, we are no longer sustained by our efforts, but by forces greater than us, the forces of love itself. You are stepping towards the edge, preparing to leap, and let the cosmic wave of love carry you forward. You shall be moved through the grace into the new world awaiting you. This oracle brings a message. There is a time to work hard and a time to allow the fruits of one's labor to manifest when one may be carried by forces set in motion by the energy of life itself. You can now let go and move further, reach farther with less effort. Now is the time to give yourself permission to stop paddling and instead ride the wave. Give in, let go, and be moved. So that is it for today. You can book a reading. I have my yin readings available. They are very powerful. Um, just because things are moving forward, this is like the best time to be embracing your yin energy. So digging into this can help you further do that. I highly recommend that. $66. It's about an hour long, 45 minutes to an hour long. Um, half hour readings are $55 right now. So it's a pretty good deal. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com to set that up. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I will hopefully be feeling better. The better it gets, the better it gets. And there is enough love in the world for you. Namaste.